Hello, this is Zbox, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you the best RTX shaders on Minecraft for a low-end graphics card. It's 2021, graphics card prices are really high. I have a 1066 gigabyte. It actually performs really good, but if you use other shaders, it doesn't really work that well with RTX. If you go here, it, the best one for low-end graphics card is the Sillers Vibrant Shaders Lite. You can also get the high and mediums, but honestly, I don't see a difference. Might as well just get the light and have the best performance and the best frames per second. So I'm just going to go to the lobby and look how good this is. Look, I've never seen Minecraft this beautiful in my life. Um, I've always played Minecraft like, I've always played Minecraft with shaders off just like this, how it's boring. But when you turn on shaders, aka RTX, because this is basically RTX when it actually comes out. This is basically just a homebrew um, shaders, but when RTX comes out for Minecraft, this is what's gonna look like. It's gonna be so insanely good. Look at all the shadows and the vibrancy. So this is the light one. I'm gonna do a quick test with the medium and the high uh, shaders. So this is light, so let's do medium. And as you can see, the shadows are a little bit better. I'm gonna turn on my performance overlay just to show you the frames per second. And as you can see, my GPU utilization is at 84%, which is actually kinda high. Because literally, when you turn off shaders, it goes all the way down to like 30. Look at this. Shaders uses 50% of my graphics card. That's insane, but you know, it's whatever. If you have a high-end graphics card, you might as well just get the um, ultimate. Because there's a Dillers ultimate. But this video is focused on low-end graphics cards, so you might as well just only include the high shaders. So this is the high setting. As you can see, it... The FPS dip is kind of bad, it's like 20 frames lower, but it's still really playable. And I, I don't really see that much of a difference. I'm gonna go into an actual survival world. Oh, I need to create a new one. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. You have never seen Minecraft this beautiful in your life. Look at the water, bro. Look at the like texture and the reflection from the sun, it's so good. So this is, I'm on a high, uh, I'm going to show you that literally, high doesn't even matter, you can literally just, you can literally just go in light, and it's still great. Of course the water is a little bit different, I guess, but who really cares, it's just water. Uh, medium, if you don't want to use light, like if you have a graphics card better than mine, just use medium, because medium is like closer to high than it is light. Um, so yeah, I get about... 34 frames on medium well when I'm recording of course it's like 10 frames less as you can see light I get about hold on let me let's wait for it to pick up it's about 50 it, it goes up to 70 when I'm not recording and it looks so good even though the water doesn't look as good as high it still looks better than the default minecraft if you have a really terrible graphics card hear me out what you should get is the enhanced default fast Basically what it does is, it's basically like regular Minecraft, but there's subtle differences in the textures and stuff like that. As you can see, I have like this shadow, this um, shadow that is not on normal Minecraft. The wire is a little bit different, as you can see, there's like this texture at the top. Um, there's, little, there's subtle enhancements with the shadows over there. And as you can see, the grass is moving, which I don't really care, it's just, I guess it's wind. Oh, what, the, what is that? Why is the sun? That is so weird. Why is the sun, like, diagonal? Oh, what? What? I don't... <laughs> Alright, I, I don't play in this one, even though it gives you amazing frames. Look at this. Like, it only increases my GPU utilization by 30%, and it's still amazing graphics. I would rather use this than no shaders at all, so that's pretty good. But like, this looks so good. Light looks so good. I'm probably just gonna keep using light. But if you have like, if you want over 60 frames, like if you have a high hertz monitor, then just use fast. You don't get the vibrancy as you do with the light, medium, and high uh, vibrant shaders, but it's still fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test it in Bed Wars. Bed Wars is such a good example of how good shaders RTX is. Cause literally, it can change your game. Like it it makes games night and day. RTX, look at this. Oh my bro. 
this is so good oh my god i like this might not be a difference like this might be a normal game if you haven't played minecraft a lot but this is like so good like the lighting and stuff like the sunrise and stuff so let's play i'm kind of bad at bed wars but let's just do a test round to see like how showing you how rtx would look like if you're playing with it so as you can see i'm actually getting kind of good frames because i only have a 60 years monitor which is kind of bad my monitor is 4k 32 inches let's make it some blocks and is there any rushers nope well and not let not yet at least let's just build a simple fence the one thing i don't really like is the clouds Obviously, real RTX wouldn't have these realistic clouds. I don't really like that. I, I would rather the um, creators of this shader just to use the regular clouds. But in the... If you go fast, it's like the regular clouds. But if you do light... Speaking of which, I have the Iris mod. Oh, wait. There's a rusher. Hold on. I have the Iris mod so that you can get shaders on sodium because sodium is not supported with it. Hold on, I'm gonna get this guy. Fuck, oh, frick, frick! No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I was distracted. It's fine. I can like tour this map without playing. Wait, I respawn? Oh, wait. <laughs> what? Bro, this is such a weird glitch. What the? Anyways, this is so good. Um, look at I don't really like this realistic. I don't really like the realistic claws at all. Like, it, it, I don't know. It's Minecraft, come on now. Everything's blocks. It's, it looks like a texture, it looks like Roblox. Like, why would you? That's the one thing I don't like about this. So, to compare with the actual, like, extremely high end RTX shaders for, like, actual 3090s, 3080s, stuff like that, let's turn on the BSL one, which is, like, the one that's most known, I guess. Um, as you can see, it looks kind of good. I kind of, I still do prefer the sh the cylinders because of the vibrancy and stuff. It kind of puts this 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 mob kind of puts like a blue shadow on everything. Uh, the claws are still like very bad. So honestly, I, before I found cylinders, I liked this one a bit better. But I don't like. There's no reason to like this, and I get worse frames. Look at this. 36 frames. This is this is not even good. Like, I mean, it's kind of good, but not nowhere near as good as compared to the light. When you turn on light, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is by far probably the best RTX shaders ever, but I'm glad the developers of this shaders released a light version for lower NPCs so that you can experience RTX even without a high-end graphics card. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, I'm transparent. Alright guys, bye.